Let's bring in David Halpern, Executive Director of the Israel Policy Forum. Um, David, good to have you here. What do you make of the Vice President's visit? Uh, well, I think uh, starting off, it's, 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 we should recall that it was originally planned to happen two months ago, and the idea was to show solidarity uh, with Christians across the region. And of course, that original plan was shelved uh, after the Jerusalem announcement uh, by President Trump. Uh, this was clearly an effort to demonstrate the, the unity between the Trump administration and the Netanyahu government. Uh, what the trip ultimately became, in some ways, was a, a, a tour to to Egypt and Jordan to do damage control in, in, in large part from the Jerusalem announcement while demonstrating the solidarity with the Netanyahu government and the Trump administration. We didn't see any dramatic substantive uh, policy uh, statements. Uh, there, actually, we did not see Pence uh, do things that we typically would see a vice president visiting Israel, meeting with NGOs. In fact, as far as I know, we didn't actually visit any Christian sites, certainly not meet with any Palestinian leaders, as your reporter indicated. Uh, the Palestinians are refusing uh, 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 to meet uh, with vice, vice President Pence. So it was little on substance, um, but certainly uh, high on political benefit for both uh, the Trump administration and the Netanyahu government. But Pence said that the peace process is still alive. But if the Palestinians are not talking to him, then the peace process isn't still alive. And like you said, he offered no substantive anything. He didn't tell the Palestinians, we'll give you something in order to come talk to us again. Right. And I think that we, what we did see is, is talk that uh, the goal is two states if the parties agree. This has been the standard language uh, by the Trump administration. We also uh, heard him clarify in his remarks that the recognition of Jerusalem as a capital should not be viewed as prejudging negotiations, which is actually uh, uh, sending mixed signals from what we have heard from the Trump administration, that Jerusalem is now, uh, quote, off the table. Um, but you're absolutely right that the talk of returning to negotiations in many ways is a pass for for not only is Israelis, but the Palestinians as well. Um, as long as the call is merely uh, to bring the parties back to the table and not ask both parties to act responsibly to preserve uh, the goal of what an ultimate deal could be, which I presume maintains, uh, the, the, the administration maintains to be a two-state solution. Uh, I, we'd like to see, uh, certainly, uh, the administration call on both parties to act responsibly to preserve that goal. Back in December, when the administration made its decision in Jerusalem, there was an international call for the United States to release its plan for possible peace talks. Supposedly, the administration has given some parameters to Saudi Arabia. The Saudis have shared them with the Palestinians. What is the administration waiting for in terms of making public here's our idea well I, I think uh, uh, it's, it's a great question um, I think that uh, 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 I, I would backtrack and say was the Jerusalem announcement actually part of the strategy or was it driven by the artificial deadline to acknowledge whether the embassy would be would be moving and I say that because there was tremendous work and frankly uh, Jason Greenblatt and the team of the Trump administration was getting uh, 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 applauded by Israelis and Palestinians alike uh, for quietly taking this issue very seriously and doing the due diligence to meet with all the parties and to try to engage in a regional approach. Since the Jerusalem announcement, um, those good faith efforts, uh, for all intents and purposes, have been blown up for the time being. And we are on a hiatus uh, for now. Um, I think it's not likely the Palestinians can avoid the United States being the central player in this issue. I think that's certainly not uh, uh, what will happen. Um, but we are going to be on a hiatus for, for some time, uh, and it will be a challenge to see how do we work this situation back to uh, responsible talks. Very quickly, what do you think Pence wrote in that note in the Western Wall? <laughs> uh, I don't know, want to know. Uh, I think it's personal. Uh, I'm sure it was sincere. God keep me out of the Russia investigation. No, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> David Halpern, Executive Director of the Israel Policy Forum. David, thanks as always. We thanks appreciate